Hey, what's up? My name is Mine. I got a secret package from the Hightail team and we're finally getting consistent Hightail news. Well, kind of, but I'll get into that. Let's talk about the secret Hightail package first. So just a few days ago, I received this package. It's a brown envelope thing and I'm not showing the back for obvious reasons. And inside there were multiple items actually. I got this postcard, which we have seen in December. This was the last postcard that we have officially gotten from the Hightail team. It shows some nice Farron fan art. Inside, I also got some pins. There were a total of five pins in there, four characters of the game, and the Hypixel logo. So I'm definitely gonna make sure to put these to use. I absolutely love how cute these little pins are, and I can't wait to see what more and future Hightail merch is gonna look like. These are all part of a thank you message from the Hypixel team for being a part of Thankmas. It's a yearly charity stream that we do with all of the biggest Hightail creators. It's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do it again this year. They have graciously sent us packages in the past including a Hytale mug and a Hytale beanie and I'm ever so grateful to be a part of it and to receive these gifts. Unfortunately this isn't a beta key or a secret code and if there was one I probably wouldn't be able to talk about it. But it's great to see that the Hypixel team is reaching out towards the community and showing appreciation for spreading the love and celebrating the game. One last thing regarding the postcard there is something written on the back which just says congratulations on another successful Hytale Thankmas event. So I guess if you need any proof if the Hytale team is still alive or not, <laughs> I think this package more than enough proves it. But where and what have they been doing recently? Well, I talked about the Hytale news and let me kind of get into that. Back in December during the Thankmas stream, Buddha Cat, the community manager, announced that they were gonna start some new sort of news process. It's called hashtag ask Hytale on Twitter. I have the tweet pulled up here saying, okay friends, send in those Hytale questions using the hashtag ask Hytale. We'll begin answering stuff in early 2024. Can't wait. And we had to wait until early 2024 to get some answers. The first ask Hytale question was posted, let me get this correct, January 30th on 2024. The last day of January, and I believe they mentioned something about the first one being in January, so they really pushed it to the end of the day. They talk about accessibility features, which is cool, but the interesting thing that you guys might want to know is that they mentioned something about subtitles for dialogue and captions for non-speech sounds. Wait, subtitles for dialogue? We haven't heard of any dialogue in Hytale yet. So does this mean that there is voice acting in Hytale? I think it's likely. Could it be in cutscenes or when you're actually talking to an NPC? The implication of that can spawn a lot of theories and I'd love to know exactly what you guys think the subtitles for dialogue might mean. Are we gonna see Chris Pratt as one of the main characters for Hytale? I think that'd be too funny. We didn't have to wait long until we get the second Ask Hytale on February 1st the day after the first one, which means we're off to a good track right now. And they talk about something called flex. And I'm not talking about this type of flexing, I'm talking about F-L-E-C-S, which is an acronym that I don't really remember the name for, but in essence, it means that we can have a lot more entities in our game world. That's basically what it means. So instead of having 20 FPS for having one sheep in the game, we can have 20 FPS when there's five sheep in the game. So it basically means that we can have way more things in the game while still receiving the same performance, which is incredibly good for a lot of people that don't have the best systems. We also have to remember they're making the game for mobile devices and consoles, a lot of which might not have the same computing powers as some of the better PCs do. So while on the surface this might not be the most interesting Ask Hytale question, it's definitely a very important answer to know. It gives a good prospect on how the game might run in terms of performance and on different devices. I spoke too soon about them being consistent about the Ask Hytales though. We had to wait another month until February 29th to get the next one. And this one quite simply asks if there's going to be a tutorial in the game. And the answer is yes. They're going to try to make a tutorial for as many of the features as possible without trying to overload you with information. They're not going to teach you every single nook and cranny about the game, but they're going to teach you enough to get your foot off the ground and learn enough by yourself. Something I saw in the replies of this being referenced is the old Minecraft console tutorial world. A lot of people have amazing flashbacks and memories of that place, and if Hytale can kind of recreate that, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for nostalgia in the future. 
There was someone in the comments asking about the frequency of these Ask Hytale posts though, saying, hey, we've seen the last one at the end of the month and this one's at the end of the month too. Does that mean the next one's also going to be at the end of the month? And Buddha says, honestly, just a coincidence. There's no set cadence for these at the moment. Can definitely confirm that the next one will be released much sooner than the end of March. And I guess he was right with that one because the next one released March 1st, once again following this trend of the end of the month and at the very start of the month. The question asks if there's going to be any sort of counters besides blocking such as parrying and dodging. They said yes, absolutely, which first off implies that there is parrying and dodging. I mean, we've seen dodging style mechanics in terms of a dash, but we haven't seen parrying before which is very nice to see. The devs basically say that they want to give as many options to the players without making one better than the other. They want all of them to have some sort of positive, but also a drawback. What equipment the player uses is also important, which we've also kind of seen due to daggers having sort of lunge attacks. And then we move on to March 12th, which is unfortunately the last Ask Hytale that we've gotten at the point of recording this video. The question asks if there's gonna be content updates in the future. And the answer was yes. Yes, there will. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but I think it's pretty obvious that Hytale is a game that will have updates in the future. Maybe if it's not in terms of the story, it'll be in terms of mini games or balance or new items. So seeing a confirmation to me doesn't really count as news because it's more of a self-explanatory thing that now got confirmed officially. Which leads us to today. We have gotten five Ask Hytale posts and we are nearing the end of the third month. What is the future for Hytale? Because I'm not seeing enough Ask Hytale posts. We've gotten promises that the frequency of the Ask Hytale posts will ramp up with time, but we haven't really seen that. The next big thing that the entire community is holding out for is the next blog post because this one will be massive. They have not shown us any gameplay for over a year now, which is kind of sad to see that we don't know what the game looks like in its current state, but they're also rebuilding the new engine. And in the last blog post, they said they're basically done and working on porting everything over to this new engine. And so the next blog post will be the giant engine reveal very likely. I also predict that this is going to break the silence. After the blog post is out, they're able to show off gameplay in the new engine, which means that there's nothing stopping them from doing maybe even weekly or daily, dare I say, content updates or screenshots within the game. They state that the reasoning they haven't shown off any gameplay recently is that anything in the old engine would not represent the vision that Hytale is currently going for, which I completely understand. But once the new engine is out, I don't see a reason not to. What do you guys think? Do you like these Ask Hytale formats? Are you waiting for this big blog post? And what do you think the big blog post will entail? Do you think a release date's gonna be in it? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.